channel I hope you guys are doing well first off I would like to thank everyone I would like to thank you for clicking on my video if you are new to my video to my YouTube page welcome and welcome so today's video is going to be about basically to encourage you so the last video I did was based on int intentionality like being intentional about what you're doing right so after I posted that video, my goodness, two months in 2020, I've been struggling with, I'm not, I'm not being as productive as I wanted to be. And I'm like, maybe there are others that are going through the same struggles as I am. Yes, we see these motivational videos, these encouraging videos at the beginning of 2020, and we're all hyped and excited. You know, let's go get it 2020, 2020 is all mine. Two things that I would like to encourage you to do, because I feel like I've slacked in like these past two months is setting your priorities and boundaries if by setting your priorities you are able to distinguish what you should do and what you should spend your time on and what you shouldn't spend your time on for example the last semester it was easier for me to do because I just moved into a new place and a new school so everything was brand new for me and there wasn't more too much of a distraction i've made some friends and there are things that like social events things that i get invited to more often to compared to last semester so trying to prioritize if it's gonna be like those kind of i don't want to say distractions but these type of events if it's gonna be beneficial for you or should you do you have to partake so i had to sit back and try and figure out is it something that you want to partake in is it gonna help you um achieve the goals that you have set for 2020 or not if not then it should be easier for you to make certain decisions not that you should for me i don't think that you should just focus on what you have to do what you have to do and not have fun but there should be a balance between what you what you want to achieve and fun you know and also like knowing what your weaknesses are for me what I've been doing I've been coming home after school and it's kind of hard for me to be productive in my bedroom because my bed like I'm a homebody I love being home but my bed I like before I come home I say to myself self you're gonna go home you're gonna start some homework and then you're gonna eat and then you're going to be more productive I mean not more productive you're going to take a nap a 30 minutes nap or to an hour nap and then the hour prolongs and then the whole day goes and I'm not as productive as I want it to be so knowing your knowing yourself like don't set up yourself to put yourself in certain situation that you know you can't get out of like you know your weakness i know my weakness is my bed i shouldn't be coming home you know come home at a later time one of my classmates she goes to the library and connecting myself to her will encourage me to do so more often i used to do it last semester like it's nobody's business i don't know what's going on but if you need it if you need those type of external motivation to do certain things not that we have this mindset i can do everything by myself you we need um friendship we need divine friendship those are going to help you accomplish your goals or make you reach closer to whatever your goal may be whether it's like academic spiritual then you need spiritual friends you can't say that you want to grow more spiritually in 2020 and all you have is friends that are not on the same path as you are continue to be encouraged but prioritize what it is that you want to do set boundaries and stick to those boundaries surround yourself with those that are seeking the same thing as you are you can have different friends for different kind of events you have your social friends you have friends that you know likes to go academic academically they are striving to do the same thing as you are spirit or a set of friends that are seeking to do things grow spiritually then you can connect yourself with that i have my social friends i have my academic academic friend well i'm still working on that i still have to hit her up i still have to reach out to her but like i already have the intentions of you know connecting myself to her so there's that and i have my spiritual friend my praying friends my praying buddy and i have my my friend that i just when i'm going through my stuff i'm like 
like <laughs> I open up to her like so I am intentional with that this video is just to encourage you even if you haven't been as productive as you thought you would have been it's okay these two months basically is like a trial month you see where you were slacking you see where you need you needed to make certain adjust adjustments do it and we have 10 more months to go january was a long you know february is already done finished so march coming um, upcoming you know you know where your weaknesses are you know where you need to make some adjustments just do um so like take it easy on yourself you st you're, st you're still learning you're not I don't think you have to get everything like this in one shot be patient with yourself like sit down and think what it is that the changes that you need to make and do it ask God to provide you with the right people to to help you attain these goals divine friendship divine connection divine just divine people so pray for the spirit of discernment so that you are able to discern who it is that God has placed in your life to make in order for you to accomplish these things. Because we were not meant to be in this world alone. So be encouraged, be continue, be patient with yourself and strive to, do, to give 2020 your best. Go after everything your heart desires. And if you, fall, if you were to fall, it's okay get back up fall fall back seven get back up eight like you learn from your failures you know so be encouraged so that's all that i wanted to say for this video thank you all for listening and yes please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe thank you love you